Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, October 4th, we'll talk about the second letter to Timothy by Paul. 2 Timothy 2, 3 says, You must therefore endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Look at this. I just want to read it again. You must therefore endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Soldier's life is not easy. We have to face hardships and we are the soldiers of Jesus Christ. Second Timothy is Paul's will and testament to his spiritual son Timothy. Writing from a Roman prison cell, Paul imparts his final words of wisdom and encouragement to Timothy who is ministering in the midst of opposition and hardship in Ephesus. Paul stresses the importance of godly living preaching the word both in and out of season and preparing for the coming apostasy within the church. Underlying all that Paul says is the importance of God's word. This is the only foundation strong enough to withstand persecution from without and problems within. As Timothy was in great need of encouragement because of the hardships he was facing in the church, Paul is writing from the prison in Rome. Prison is the last place from which to expect a letter of encouragement, but that is where Paul's second letter to Timothy originates. He begins by assuring Timothy of his continuing love and prayers and reminds him of spiritual heritage and responsibilities. Only the one who preserves, perseveres, whether as a soldier, athlete, farmer or minister of Jesus Christ will reap the reward. See, God wants us to be persevere, like a soldier, athlete, farmer or minister of Jesus Christ. Paul warns Timothy that his teaching will come under attack as men desert the truth for ear-itching words. Ear-itching words. But Timothy has Paul's example to guide him and God's word to fortify him as he faces growing opposition and glowing opportunities in last days. Paul also wrote this letter to summon Timothy and Mark to visit him as soon as possible since he was going to be executed soon. This combat manual exhorts Timothy to put the spiritual equipment of the word of God to constant use to overcome growing obstacles to the spread of the gospel. As a spiritual father, Paul urged his son Timothy to overcome his natural timidity and boldly proclaim the gospel even if it meant that he would suffer for doing so. This letter was Paul's closing testimony to the believers' victory in Christ. We should all praise the Lord for giving us such a great example through Paul. Let's pray. Lord, help us to be loyal and committed to you as Paul was. Please help us to lead others also into your kingdom like Paul did. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.